Wait, let's just jump right into the awkwardness of writing a book about your life. Uh, was that a hurdle for you to get over, to open up and tell all these stories to people? I've been able to hide behind characters for my career, which has been such a luxury. And then I thought, well, you know what? You know, maybe I have something to say, you know? And I could tell people about how lonely I was growing up or how insecure I felt or jealous or whatever. And so I thought, I'm gonna write a book. <sighs> <laughs> How quickly into it did you feel that deep sigh that you just gave us? <laughs> Pretty quickly. Yeah. And now that it's coming out, um, I, I'm really proud of it because I, I hope that, I don't know, the idea of like a collective experience, um, like the insecurities that we all face. Yeah, I think a lot what of people- What are your insecurities? What are my insecurities? Mm -hmm. I certainly, uh, growing up, I had nothing but insecurities. I, I felt very- like what? What, like what? Like, yeah. I didn't, I, I had stage fright. I didn't get on stage until, I never wanted to do school plays or anything like that until I was like late in high school. I, ha I was known as the short kid. Like, like, that was my identity. And I think that everyone has like that, sort of the adjective that described them. So what was yours? Uh, oh, what was the adjective that yeah, described like, me? I, it's not an adjective, but I think braces would have been a very good. I was headgear. You were headgear? I totally trump you. Yeah, did you actually wear headgear to school? Yeah. No! Oh, God, it was the worst mistake. How bad were your teeth? Lacey was going to, she was like, you're headgear girl. I'm gonna kick your ass. Well, Lacey was very bad at nicknames. <laughs> oh, you have a headgear. You know what we're gonna call you? Headgear girl. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> now I'm shaking. Um, yeah, I remember once going, I had so much anxiety about going to parties. And I think the first time I got invited to a party, I was asking my dad, what should I wear? And he helped me pick out an outfit. And then I went and I realized that I was dressed the way my dad would be dressed at a party. Like what? Well, like what everybody else was in jeans and t-shirts and I was in, like with a sweater tucked into khakis. Uh, with I love belted that. khakis. And, and you, you got laid, right? I did not. <laughs> Although it would have been a very inappropriate age to get laid. So thank God. Thank God I dodged that bullet. And you, uh, this was sort of, I mean, you, you had a platform of doing this podcast. So your podcast, Unqualified as well. And uh, you take, you give people advice. I, which is unbelievably absurd because I have no idea what I'm talking about. But and you let people know that by the title of your podcast. You're not claiming to be an expert. To, I try to reinforce it. Yeah. Um, and over what sort and over. of issues do people want your advice with? Well, they, you know, people, um, we talked to, I started the podcast because I wanted to kind of talk to strangers uh -huh. like, without the format of, um, of Hollywood or fame. Sure. Or, you know, just yeah. as creepy people do. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, so people, so we, we, um, we talked to people about, our most common themes tend to be, why doesn't he or she like me? Okay. Um, but we've now, uh, we've had some pretty um, interesting callers. Recently, we had a woman who had a threesome with uh -huh. her fiance uh -huh. and a woman that they met on Facebook. And uh, the woman called up a month later and said she was pregnant. The, the extra woman, the third woman. The third woman. Oh, God. That, they didn't know, oh, it was you. <laughs> 40, still got it. <laughs> um, wow, that, what kind of advice do you give oh, there? I was totally speechless. Yeah. I mean, what do you say? But, you know, I, I, I think I was just asking her, like, are you and your fiance okay? Um, because in my book, I talk about um, things that sound better than they are. Uh -huh. And one of them is having a threesome. Yeah. Um, Have you had a threesome? I've never had a threesome. Uh, uh, I almost did, but they said khakis. <laughs> um, that close. Khakis were the deal breaker.